<clears throat> Sunday, December 13th, 1942. Dear Kitty, I'm sitting, co sitting cozily in the main office, looking outside through a slit in the curtain. It is dusk, but still just light enough to write to you. It is a very queer sight as I watch the people walking by. It looks just as if they are all in a terrible hurry, hurry and nearly trip over their own toes. With cyclists now, one simply can't keep pace with their speed. I can't even see what sort of person is riding on a machine. The people in this neighborhood don't look very attractive. The children especially are so dirty you wouldn't want to touch them with a barge pole. Real slum kids with running noses. I can hardly understand a word they say. Yesterday afternoon, Margot and I were having a bath here, and I said, Suppose we were, we were to take the children who are walking past one by one, hoist them up with a fishing rod, give them each a bath, wash and mend their clothes, and then let them go again. Then, Margot interrupted me, by tomorrow they would look just as filthy and ragged as before. But I'm just talking nonsense. Besides, there are other things to see, cars, boats, and rain. I like particularly the screech of the trains as they go by. There is no more variety in our thoughts than there is for ourselves. They go round and round like roundabout, from Jews to food and from food to politics. By the way, talking to Jews, I saw two Jews through the curtains yesterday. I could hardly believe my eyes. It was a horrible feeling, just as if I'd betrayed them and was now watching them in their misery. There is a houseboat immediately opposite where a bargeman lives with his family. He has a small yapping dog. We only know the little dog by his bark and his tail, which we can see when he runs around the deck. Ugh. Now it's starting to rain, and most of the people are hidden under umbrellas. I see nothing but raincoats and occasionally the back of someone's hat. Really, I don't need to see more. I'm grateful, gradually getting to know all the women at a glance. Blown out with potatoes, wearing a red or green coat, trotted down heels, and with a bag under their arms. Their faces either look grim or kind, depending on their husband's dispositions. Yours, Anne. That was Sunday, December 13th, 1942.